All right, wonderful people. I think this one can work this time around. I think uh, it can work. Let me try to see. Yes, I think this one can work. I think this one can work. Uh, great people of Biafra, uh, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. I am not going to waste much of your time and I'm going to also open my line for people to call. I want to talk about what is happening to our people today. I want to talk about it. And um, I want to tell you people that Nigeria are insincere people. Nigeria are insincere. And I'm going to prove it beyond reasonable doubt. Then you understand they are not sincere people. We have saw a lot of people going on in that contraption called Daminable Zoo. And they want to Kechin Kechi. You are welcome to this wonderful program. I want you people to write your name. The doors are wise. I want you people to write name so that I can be able to call people's name. And of course, I think I'm going to use only one hour. Then I'm going to open my line. Because I want our people in Biafra land to be able to call and tell us what is happening in that contraption. They have been killing and maiming and destruction of souls and properties of our people in Lagos. And we have been shouting this for years. And I'm also going to explain to our people who are those that are our problem. Those that are putting us in this mess. I'm going to show you people this. You know, they don't want us to survive. These people don't want us to survive. Biafranchise franchise CJ. You are welcome to this wonderful program. I want people to write their name so that I can be able to mention your name so that we proceed. I wanted to come out from other pages, but uh, it couldn't work. So I'd be able to come out from this one. Uh, but uh, we are going to use it like this till... I have to fix this after the uh, the program. But let me introduce myself to you all so that you will understand who is talking to you people. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on Biafran Television Channel 1 under the leadership of Mazin Namdi Okuchukukano. Here we are, we always set the record straight. My name is Mazo Ken Naokechuku, known as the Bia Franchise Wachineke, the general. I want you people to understand that Nigerian people are not sincere. They will never be sincere people. And what is happening to our people today is because of our own people. Biafra, Ezen, Ezin, you are welcome. What is happening to our people today is from our people. And we are not going to shy away from reality. That is why I'm here to tell you the truth. I want to tell you people that the suffering that we are passing through today in that contraption, they are our representatives. They are our red caps. They are our governors. They are our, you know, those people that they say they are, you know, fighting for our own people. And I'm going to prove it beyond reasonable doubt. Like I said, I'm not going to waste much of your time. The people that I want to show you now, they are the major problem. They have killed our people. You see these people you are seeing here. Uguani. Okezi Bazu plus Lojas Aboga Osa and the Ongo Kai Kai Willie Obiano and Dave Umahi and the who again Okezi Bazu and I'm also going to bring more pictures because they are many, they are those people that put us in this mess that we are. And believe you me, all these people they are sabo. There is no two ways about it. I have told my people time with that number. If you are waiting for these people to come and help you, to come and uh, 
save you from the hands of the, the zoo, believe you me, you will die in that contraption called Aminibu Zoo. I want to bring out also this picture so that you can be able to see the people that I'm talking about. Because we have been saying this time with that number, but our people won't understand. Our people won't listen. Because our people are gullible. Our people don't want to understand the mess that they are into. You see these people I'm going to show you now. You see these people. You see them here. You see these people again. They are the same people. They are Sabo in our land. And uh, they are killing our people today in Lagos. Destroying the business of our people in Lagos. Who is the cause of all these things? Of course, we must blame also Peter B. But it did, because this time around, it's no more IPOB killing our people. It's no more IPOB killing our people. This time around, we have to ask OB what is happening to our people. OB have to come and uh, answer us this query, what is happening to our people today in Lagos? Because we told these people that Nigeria is not for them, that they will keep on, you know, rigging the election, then we keep on, you know, manipulating our people, that we should come back and have one voice. But because of uh, Obi is a good man, Obi is an evil man, we told them, we told these people, we said this thing to them, our brothers, our sisters, we, the IPOBs, we have already studied Nigeria through our leader, Mazin Namdi Okuchukano, and I'm going to also play a voice of our leader, what he has said. We begged our people, please, our people, don't think that we are coming here to deceive you people. Don't think that we are coming here to, to you know, say goodbye to Igbo presidency. And I want you people to also understand that after all this killing that is happening today, have P P2B condemned the killings? The answer is no. But P2B will be busy tweeting about Shegumi, the one that always have, uh, I mean, he is the mediator, you know, the man in the middle between the, the terrorists and the, the Boko Haram. I know I'll be saying this thing today. People will say, what are you talking about? Of course, we must have somebody to blame. Obi have to take this blame to this time around. And I want you to also understand, and also our governors, if you go to Biafra land today, there is nothing like government presence in our land. There is none. There is none. There is none. Can somebody tell me the reason why? Because all our governors... Do you know there is a time that even though Rogers Abogausa was in Abuja governing the, the Imo state people? Do you know that? Do you know that all our representatives, their mansions, their buildings, everything was they were in Abuja and Lagos? And tomorrow you'll be asking yourself who did this to us? It's our representatives. They don't care about you. They just care about what they are going to gain. And that is why we are in this mess that we are today. Plus, Obi now, Obi came to distract us. Mazin Namdekano is still in DSS dungeon. Obi never talk about this man. And ask the Nigerian government to release Mazin Namdekano. Obi now is about to go to court, or he's already in the court. He has forgotten that the same court is the one that discharged our leader, and they are still holding him. Obi has forgotten that the same, the same court that uh, Atiku went during uh, Bugari and his, uh, you know, their own shenanigans, the same court are still, still holding Atiku until Bugari finishes eight years. The same thing is going to happen to in this time we are today. They say that Obi is a good man. 
We have told the people, being a good man cannot solve the problem. We are not talking about being a good man. What can solve the problem is for you to be able to abide with the law of the land. Law of the land supersedes in everything you are doing. You may be a bad guy. It does not matter. When you go against the law, now the law will come after you. We don't need somebody that is a good. This man is good. That is not what the nation wants. The nation wants who can be able to abide with the law of the land. Who be able to be able to implement what the Lord says. Who be able to, you know, say that this is A and A is A. And what is applicable to A must be also applicable to B. That is what they call nation. You don't need a good man. You don't need somebody to be a born again for him to be there. Because being you a born again, when you get there, of course, they are going to also corrupt you. Because they will tell you that we are the people that made the law. We are also, you know, we are above the law. Because that is exactly what is playing today. All this, you know, all this uh, full and neat kabas, they are above the law. Just remember that they put all Jews or Carlo in Kana Abogadi Abogali today. They have, they have put this man in prison, isn't it? They put Olisametu in prison. Do you know that who gave the Olisametu money was an Efulani man? The money that makes Olisametu to be in prison was not, he's not the one that collected the money. Somebody gave him the money. They are not querying the person that they gave him the money. Now they are, you know, asking the person they gave the money. And upon all these things, our people don't want to learn. I want you people to understand that we have to be saying the truth always because the truth is only something that's going to set us free. I hope our people have come in conclusion and understand that Nigeria is not going to work. Nobody is going to fix Nigeria. Like I said, I'm going to prove it beyond reasonable doubt that Nigerian people are insincere people. I hope you people haven't forgotten about Obasanjo. They use Obasanjo to come and distract us. We told our people that Obi have no structure. We have made it open to our people what is structure. Our people think that coming on social media begin to yap and talk all sort of rubbish. Obedient, obedient, shia, 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 shia. Shia, if you obey, shia, shia, shia. I don't know what you people are going to gain from all these bloggers. People that you see that they are just looking for their daily bread. When you go to their videos, you see how they are sharing. And then sometimes I ask myself this question. Can somebody tell me what these people are contributing? In this year, 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 if you're obedient, year, year, uh, uh, the INEC chairman have spoken, or Basanzo have spoken, uh, this one have spoken, year, 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 we are not going to believe it, year, 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 what I'm going to say now, you can never believe it, you can never see this, year, 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 and after you share, I want to ask you a question, all these bloggers you are seeing on the internet, can you tell me their position in that contraption? Can you tell me what these people can change? These people cannot change anything. They just want to build their uh, platform and begin to gain money from the, from the internet. I saw one brother, I'm not coming here to castigate him, but all these things is nonsense. These people are not going to give you anything. Of course, sometimes some people will be asking me, what am I going to offer? If we all can stand in one truth, one voice, one accord as we have been doing this believe you me we have this is our time to be able to get what we want now that mazin namdekan is in prison after being discharged in the competent court of appeal our people overlook mazin namdekan and let me go to the structure before i go to the voice of our leader mazin namdekan when we are telling obi that he has no structure some people will be saying, what, what do you mean by structure? Obi has no people. How many governors are backing Obi up? Even though the Igbo representatives, so-called Eastern region of Biafra, so-called Eastern region of Biafra, I'm not including now the coastal region, 
I want to ask you people, how many of them supported Obi? In Nigeria, let me tell you people what the vote is all about in that contraption. It's not the way it is in other countries like Europe, where we are today, where I am today. They are not the same. If you are a representative in that contraption called Damine Buzu, for instance, you are a governor. Believe you me, the vote of that state we come from governor. It does not matter how many people come out, stay on the line, and vote. A, a, this thing is not counting. Who is counting is the governor, who the governor is supporting. Because your vote has nothing to do. Your vote never count. Your PVC is useless. That is why the governor of the state are the highest commander from that state and the highest citizen and the, the way it is in Nigeria, he is the one that have vote. You people have forgotten that during the time of Bugari, the, after he finished the first tenor, the second one, they told you that Bugari have, I don't know how many millions of votes for himself. Where is this vote from? It's a ghost vote. When you see in Eastern region of Biafra, like I said, Ojiuzo Kalo have a vote. You know, some of our people will say one man, one vote in Nigeria is not like that. In Africa, it's not like that. One man is not one vote. When you are talking about one man, one vote, it's people like me, individual. That is one man, one vote. But when you are talking about somebody like Yang Sonwike, the whole vote of River State belongs to Yang Sonwike. The whole vote of uh, what they call it, uh, what, uh, how can I say this? Uh, uh, Uguane, Enugu State, belong, okay, Zibazo, belongs to, he, all the whole your vote belongs to him. You know, I told my people that what happens in Lagos in uh, presidential election by Obi when won the election in Lagos is just deceit. Just deceit. They want you to think that Obi won the election in Lagos so that it will calm everything down. The federal capital, Obi also won in federal capital. Just imagine how they plan all these things. Because if Tinubu won in Lagos, it's going to be a very, very, you know, irritating. That is why they allow Obi to be able to won election in Lagos. Also allow Obi to won the election in federal capital. You will see bloggers, they begin to shout. Now, if I may ask you a question now, for you to see how these things work. Now, the governorship election, did Obi won in, uh, did the Labour Party won in Lagos? I thought that the way Labour Party won, I mean, Labour Party won as a presidential candidate in Lagos, they supposed to also won in a governorship, isn't it? Now you understand what we are talking about. Now do you understand the system of that contraption called Damine Buzu? Now do you understand all these things that we have been saying that all of you abandoned Mazen Namdekano in DSX dungeon? A man that's supposed to be speaking now and we know that Mazen Namdekano, his voice is tsunami. Mazen Namdekano's voice is a thunder. When he speaks, the world are listening. He have that, you know, blessing from Chuko Kikabi Amada. Whenever he speaks to people, being you a Biafra man, being you non-Biafra, you must find sense in what he's talking about. That is why they hold him. They brought P2B for us. They bring Obasanjo, join him. A daily statement. And you people have forgotten that when Obasanjo was a, a president, he massacred our people with Obi. Like I always tell my people, Obi is my brother. And I will never deny him being my brother. But the stupidity in Obi will never allow him to listen. Or I'm telling you, Obi, is just they just brought Obi to distract us. A lot of our people in this struggle just left IPOB and joined P2B. And people were in the internet shouting, yapping and talking all sort of rubbish. Shia, 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 shia. Shia, shia, Obi then shia, shia, shia. Shia, shia, shia. After you share finish, what is happening today? Can you tell me what is happening? Where all this thing is paining me that some people will be asking me, what have you done for Biafra to come? 
We have been doing this to be able to, you know, you know, talk to our people so that we then we get convinced in what in, in our ideology so that we can be able to come in a one accord. If we that we come in our accord, believe you me, if we push no election, it could have hold. But because of the way of our people, Obi have come. Igbo man never be there before uh, to, to contend as a president. We are not going to leave this one. We are not going to, you know, this is our last chance. We are, be you know, this thing did not start today. Like this election will never come and gone. We have been preaching this, preaching this, preaching this, trying to let our people know the reason why we are saying this. But at the end, we understand that our people, the Amumu will never do. Then we said, we open it up. Go and do what you feel like to do. But today, he have opened in the eyes of our people. Obi did not want the election. They are killing your people in Lagos. Ask yourself if Obi won the presidential election. What is going to happen? Imagine that Obi did not won the election. Imagine. And if Obi won the election, do you think that this thing will be easy for you people? The answer is no. Now, let us listen to Onyendo Mazin Namdekan because there is nothing we can do without our leader Mazin Namdi Okuchukano. We are going to listen to his voice and you will hear what Mazin Namdekan said. And then I will tell you why I said that Nigeria are insincere people. A lot of them knows that Obi is not going to win this election. And a lot of them knows that we, are, we, we, we will be in that marginalization that we, that we are talking about. But let us listen to Onyendo. A short video and we are going to come back again in the other one. Listen to what Onyendu said. Mazen Namdekano. I want IPOB to know tonight that being called a terrorist because you're fighting for your land and your nation is a badge of honor. It means you've arrived. It yes. means the enemy is scared yes. of what you're doing. And it means that you're succeeding at whatever thing that you're doing. Yes. Are you following me? We are following, sir. If you are in freedom fighting anywhere in the world, and the people you're fighting have not come to refer to you as a terrorist, then that means you're not doing anything. That means you're not threatening the status quo. Thank you, Onyendu. This is about uh, those people that are saying they are going to prescribe IPOB and uh, uh, they put us in the, you know, they are, even though they are, they are, I don't know how they put it, they say that we are at the fourth or tenth. I don't know what they are talking about. But I'm going to also go to another voice of our leader about what is happening today in Lagos. And I'm going to play you people Azoka underground conversation. You will know that these people are evil. Azoka and the husband. Azoka and her husband. They are evil. Simon Eba is evil. And I will prove it beyond reasonable that then you begin to understand. Where is Nelly Ofebu today? Nelly Ofebu is today useless. Nelly Ofebu is useless. Ma kon yen a gwa wu ke e jo wu e jide. E na a gwa wu. If you e na a gwa te pa. A piaga te pa te pa. A piaga. Nelly Ofebu na a gwa nto fo we. A na a gwa gale. Gwa gide, gwa gide. He gwa gide. 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 But I'm an Akamo or the Ocha. I don't want to go. Because I don't believe there is a power in all those nonsense. There is no power on it. Because if it's power on this thing, why can't the Europeans that have what it takes couldn't apply it like a Ukraine people? Why couldn't they apply it in this world they are fighting? There is nothing like all this nonsense. On what they had an all. On what the onion do put it. Oh, we see. We you are on what he gave me, even though uh, Magada, Emma Magada, also sent my name. Sina ha guaromogo. Am I not living today? Any day that you see that I died, this is how it is. 
One thing about this life is that we are not going to live in this life forever. It's impossible, although not possible, for us to live in this life forever. And there's three things involved in this life. We are going to grow old, we are going to seek, and we are going to die. This is three things involved, three things involved in this life. Any day you understand that, that is when you will begin to know that this is how this life is. When people are bringing superstitions to you, telling you to do this, you will tell them it's a lie. This is how it is. Okay? But now let us go to what Onyendu said again. We have to get there. We have to get there. Before I will bring you why I said Nigerian people are not sincere. Onyendu, wait. Wait. My, my Lord, wait. Now we are going to also listen to what Onyendu said. Because you people have abandoned Onyendu. You people abandon him. You people abandon him. The one so-called Onyendu siblings, they are there collecting money from the politicians. Nothing else. Because they thought, or in their mind, that Biafran Restoration Project is their own. Why people are dying every single day. They are killing our people in, in, in Yoruba land. I just heard that uh, some people are saying they are going to bring a spare path from Lagos down to east. I hope if you can walk. Or just lamentation. Because our people like to lament. This thing did not start today. They have been killing our people since 1945. Up to date. How many times have Papa Lagos have burned? How many times uh, all these uh, threat fair have been? They have put fire there. Are they not stay there? They are still there, roaming around like I'm Lamajiri. I want to tell you people that you see this Alamajiri you are seeing today, you are calling for an Isala. We are the Alamajiris. Because we don't learn, we don't understand what is going on. We so much love to be one Nigeria, but the people that you are forcing yourself to them, they don't care about you, they don't even see you as a people. People that are taking petrol from your land, they haven't given you, you nothing. Our people are there, moving all their properties, all their belongings to Yoruba land and northern part of that contraption called Daminebu Zoo, and you are waiting for them to give you seaport. Go and ask John Onyangwodo. Have you forgotten? They promised John Onyangwodo they are going to give him a, 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 a what they call it, a vice president of this, uh, this, uh, this thing that is called, uh, the one that is there now. That Tinubu won. They promised John Onyangwodo. John Onyangwodo left. He went to Yoruba land. And began to tell them. Anybody that will kill Fulani must kill him first. You see how stupid our people is. Now you understand what I'm talking about. Now do you understand those people that are putting us in this mess that we are today? These are our representatives. They are. They are the people that are putting us in this mess. All their belongings, all their houses. That is why they are using it against them. Telling them you know how many uh, wealth you have in northern part of Nigeria, in Yoruba land. Are you going to abandon them? But they have forgotten that after 1967 to 1970, they, they stole all your money, all your properties with the help of Obasanjo. Now you understand what I'm talking about. With the help of Obasanjo that is come now telling you that he loves you, woman. They stole all your money and gave you only 20 pounds. And you bounce back. As Omo Shuku Kikabiyama. That is why we are still urging our people to be able to, you know. But I don't know. I don't know. Let us listen to our leader, Mazin Nando Kuchukano. I hear what he said. Ono Gadri Namo. They know the time has come. Yes. It's a shame that some people who are still living don't understand that, especially Igbo traders in Lagos. Okay. Okay. That okay. is the first phase okay. of this very deadly salvo. They will destroy your businesses. After that, they will take over your houses. When I go for them, I want you to be writing down what I'm saying. That they will write it. Barrister will say, go and bring your pen and your paper. So that when we are speaking, you'll be seeing it live and direct. What we do here is science. 
one will tell you that if you mix two molecules of hydrogen and one of oxygen, you will get H2O, which is water. Of it. If you try it, you will see it. It is only INF that decides the results of elections in Nigeria, not your PVC. The sooner you understand this, the better for you. Your PVC is useless. Where, where, where is this useless Peter P, P squared P, Peter Okoye, P, Peter and Paul Okoye? Where are they today? Jumping around like idiots. They have collected money from people. I'm not saying that Peter will be paid them because they have fans. An individual can call them and pay them. Come and begin to perform all this their nonsense. That they don't even write a music. They will call, come to Europe and copy and paste. You know? And they will see European, all this uh, Neo, all this Osha. They will go and copy their music, turn it to broken. That is exactly what they are doing. That is exactly what they are doing. You think that these people know what they are doing. Where is P2B today to encourage you people to come and stand, I mean, start the revolution? Because we told them before, if Obi lost this election, what are you going to do? Can somebody tell me what are you people going to do? Now you people are now say, uh, let a uh, kara prayer for God. Let us finish only in the place. Once there's a delay, you know it's ringing. Yes, the same thing happened yesterday. Quiet, and you're looking for who to blame. I can't be bothered with these people because they are not really relevant. They are, they are beyond redemption. All these, all these, all these bloggers that we have today, I don't want to call some people name because these people, they are nobody. For me, they are nobody because even though with their bloggers, they are not gaining anything. I saw one lady that one time she always talk about uh, sometimes I thought that the girl was somebody. Because of uh, monetization, she begin, she came on social media, begin to cry. Cry because of one euro. Now the girl have, you know, calculated the one, how much is euro. One euro in Nigeria is almost 700 naira. He had forgotten that, that that one euro in Europe here is nothing. Now she came out on social media, begin to cry. I say, so this girl that I'm seeing, if we are now, you don't know that these people are nobody. They will tell you, she 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 you think that they, they, have, they have something upstairs. And some people are listening to them, sharing their videos. Sometimes I will look at myself. The one they call macaroni or something, one idiotic and uh, all of them. I don't want to call these people. One of my brothers, that I won last time. He was in, in, in Dubai. A, a already made land. See that name and uh, I to repeat Obi now. Mazen Nam de Kano Apopotia. Now that they, they did not vote, Obi did not. Who is going to bring Mazen Nam de Kano out now? The same thing that I told my brother, Anye Don. But Anye Don is a good man. He is a good man. Because on that video, he responded. That is why I know that I have no grudges with him. But that is what I'm saying. Don't say P2B or anybody that is campaigning. Don't use Mazin Namdekano on P2B because these people are two different people. Mazin Namdekano is fighting for Biafran Restoration Project. P2B is a one Nigeria. P2B is a one Nigeria. You see, let me tell you people something you don't know. You people have forgotten uh, June 12th, Osa Abiola. You think that Yoruba people will allow that thing that happened to Abiola to happen to uh, uh, Tinubu? <laughs> you people are you people are you people are jokers. The Yoruba people are ready to go to war for that thing that happened to Abiola to happen to them again. It's not their fault. Obi has no structure. How many people is supporting Pito Obi? Nobody. Nobody. Even his own people did not support him. Those of their brothers, okay, see, Basu, John Oniawodo, Willie Obiano, Roger Sawaga, all of them, did they support P2B? The answer is no. All these people you see, they have their own vote. As a person from House of Assembly, he have his own vote. 
maybe they give him now you you have a uh, three thousand votes as a a house of assembly he will go there and give them that that his three thousand votes that is exactly what happened yes on weekend he gave his vote to what they call it to uh, what uh, what they call it tinubu and he came back and begin to tell you people no uh, obi is a champion obi is a champion because if obi if obi did not come the the thing will go to northern part of nigeria and a kyobru story now you understand that wiki gave his vote to tinubu after then he went back again because of uh, governorship election somebody that is going to put there he begin to deceive our people the Igbo speaking biafra about the abandoned property that uh in Ghana or wrote in me i'm wishing a double agent wrote in me i'm wishing and i your blue story and he was speaking biafra wrote in me i'm wishing which one are you going to follow i don't know they brought a wrote in me i'm wishing to come and uh you know put a asunder and because of that Yes, on weekend go and gave our people 150 uh, acres of land for compensation. And our people are there clapping. Our, the, our people are there clapping. He gave them land free. Now you understand. But there is something about Nwike. I'm going to tell you people the truth. There is something about Nwike. Without Nwike, Atiku could have won this election. All the disappointment they gave to John Unyangu, the disappointment they gave to Dave Uma, he killed your people. We are going to make you governor. We are going to make you this. We are going to make you that. They disappointed them, but at the same time, they are still following them like Ijiji. Ebijiji ne sugali onye bonse. But Unwike, when Tambuwa, the Unwike boyfriend disappointed Nwike. Nwike said no. After you vandalize and uh, you know destroy my backyard you are still abandon me. If it's that I'm going to abandon you too. Nwike left. Nwike left them. But there is none of our people that have what it takes to be able to stand on their own. None of them. Where is John Onyangwodo today? Nowhere to be found. Have you seen John Onyangwodo say something they know? John the only one who went to our leader Mazin Namdekan and tell Mazin, told Mazin Namdekan to throw away Biafran restoration project that is going to give us restructuring. Where is the restructuring today? I want to ask. John the only one I'm asking you, where is the restructuring? No restructuring, no Biafra. We are now a bath. Osu Kaibuzi. Ayabranu enu Kaijabuano ani. We are nothing in that contraption. Now I want to bring you also to tell you why Nigerian people are not sincere. I want to tell you why Nigerian people are not sincere. When somebody tell you one Nigerian, you use O2 by 2 or why you see? Or why you see? <clears throat> oh, who did this to our people? All the business of our people, they are all in northern part of Nigeria. This uh, this uh, market uh, chairman that said that they are going to bring path, uh, what they call it, moto moto paths to down to Biafra land. I hope it's not lamentation because our people so much lament; they lament too much. That is why they will use all this ohane zendibo na Lagos, ohane zendibo na Ibadan, ohane zendibo na Akure. Ohanez and Dibo here. And now, just your Hanez and Dione. Where is the root of this Ohanez? On a cana, Shobun can be all on Kobun can be Hala. A way I'm not confused our people. A way I name maybe Sindy, a way I name Messa Sindy by Yana. The same Ohanez, they will go tomorrow and pay him small money. Or do you know that Ohanez and Dibo, even though Nalegos have his own vote, he will go and give them the vote. Maybe. He, they will tell him your vote is 2,000. He will go and give it to them. Igbo have voted. That is what they are going to tell you. The Igbo people have voted. <laughs> oh. We are the Alamajiris. We don't lie about this. Fulanese are very, very... Of course, we know that British people are backing them up. 
But I don't know why our people cannot just even understand to know that they should go back to drawing boards and be able to put head together. If it's like these people we are talking about, Mazen Namdekano, say no, election can never hold in their land without releasing this man for us. Because the competent court have discharged them. That is when the word will come. That is when the word will come. That is when the word will come. And said, but the representative of these people are saying, there's something they are saying. We are going to look towards it to know what is the problem. We are going to be in a one accord. Uprose or Jose or Kalu's idea. Dave Omar has this idea. Okay, Zip has this idea. Roger Sabongaosa. When Roger Sabongaosa was there, he did not di he did nothing. He did nothing. Roger Sabongaosa now is lamenting, telling you they have lost everything we are going to bring. Let me bring uh, Roger Sabongaosa. No, why Nigerian people are not sincere? Then we go to Roger Sabongaosa. And then I'm going to bring you people things that you want to see. Let us go to, to this why Nigeria is not sincere. Why Nigeria is not sincere. When you see Nigerian people tell you one Nigeria, okay, let us go. Let us go. Stop it. Make it big. Let us go. Do you people know this man? Do you people know this man? Today, this man don't have rasta. He have cut off his rasta. His name is uh, Dele Fa Farotimi. Dele Farotimi. That is his name. Dele Farotimi. Now, we want to hear what this man said. And then... I will still come back again in his latest video. That is when you will know that Nigeria are not sincere. The same thing that what this idiot did, Femi Fani Kayode, he came to deceive our people. Handshake across Niger. He came, he began to tell you your history. Femi Fani Kayode is telling you your history. Today, now, Fanny Kayo, they have, you know, abandoned everything. They have abandoned it. Now, even though telling you that uh, a person that the mother is an Igbo man is not going to rule Lagos. And the idiot have forgotten that his kids are Igbo, uh, the wife, his wife, uh, her wife is Igbo woman. The wife of uh, uh, the fem 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 Fanny Kayo, they, and the, their kids are answering Igbo name. You see this thing that Fanny Fai Kayode did? He will cry for it tomorrow. Because they are going to remember all these things to his kids tomorrow. Then we tell you, your mother is an Igbo woman. That means that you can never have any position in Yoruba land. And you see all these things. All these things these people are showing you, telling you that we are not one people. And the government that they introduced to our people is a fraud. It's a fraudulent. Because normal, all these places have to be on their own. That is, all the, that is what they are trying to let you know. That you cannot left Anambra and come to Lagos and begin to tell them what to do even though you buy the land in their place. And when you see all these things, there is a one voice note that Marzi Jonathan played. The guy explained everything. And when the guy was saying this, this is not what he was trying to <clears throat> put in the minds of people. But that is exactly what is happening. That is exactly what they are telling you. And the same thing, funny, funny Kayode, FFK, repeated it again. And tomorrow, he will come. A man that vowed that I will never join APC is now championing APC. You see, that, that man is a, a political ashawo. But I don't blame him. I don't blame him. It's because of the kind of environment that this man finds himself. 
Now he begins to understand if I don't beat them, I have to join them. That is why I say Nigerian people are not sincere. The same thing that happened to this man. If I cannot beat them, I will join them. But we, if we cannot beat them, we will keep on fighting till we beat them. We are not going to join them. Now let us listen to this man. And you people will pay attention, please. What this man said. And everything that he said is a true. But he later changed. Now pay attention. In Nigeria, he's a fool. Like any Nigerian who is still hanging around waiting for 2023 to change Nigeria is a fool. Like 20 daily faro to me up and ask them to become president of Nigeria. 20 of, of me, 20. Multiply their brain power by 10, factor of 10, and then force them to operate the 1999 constitution with the governance system that, it, that is enshrined in it. We shall fail spectacularly. The problem of Nigeria can never be resolved by personnel changes. Personnel the changes. system is designed with impunity undergirding it. Underline that word. Personnel changes. It can never work. In other words, being a good man. A good man cannot change Nigeria. Being a good... You are a pastor. It can never change anything. And it can never deliver anything positive to the Nigerian peoples. Be those Yoruba, Ausa, Igbo, Fulani, whatever they care to be. Make an Igbo man president of Nigeria in 2023 and force him to operate the, two, uh, the 1999 constitution. Complete waste of time. Indeed, Igbo will continue to suffer the brunt of the wickedness of the Nigerian state. Every Nigerian is rendered stateless by the 1999 constitution. It is an iniquitous, wicked, and evil document. It has nothing good for the Nigerian people. And the longer we continue to fool ourselves believing, and let me enter one quick caveat. Nigeria Our sincere. rulers are actually very intelligent when they care to be, especially when it comes to their own preservation. And I know as a fact that they're already making noises about restructuring in Abuja, the mace snatcher and the Lawan and that one that calls himself Baja. All of them are sat there running Elta Skelta, coupling together some lies that they intend to sell to us as uh, constitutional, what do they call it, amendment. Let's be clear. You cannot continue to build on top of lies. Are you listening? You can't sustain that lie. Are you listening? And as long as justice is missing in a place, you continue to have strife. We need to tell ourselves the truth, and that truth is that the only the closest we can come to normalcy in Nigeria is to have a return to the original agreements that founded this country. Which is the restructuring. Those are agreements are very Through clear. federalism. They are fundamentals. One of them federal system. Nigeria is today not a federal system. Let's stop lying to ourselves. The word federal was brought to life by the American election. Each state has its own electoral body because it is essentially a country. Nigeria are not sincere. Country. That was what our fathers agreed. Nobody agreed the situation where a clueless man would sit down inside a rock in Asu and begin to issue edicts and dictates to every other person. Nobody, nobody signed on for that in 1960. All the constitutional conferences beginning from 1948 all the way to the 1951, all the way to 1960, each and every one of them was very clear and unambiguous. Nigeria was meant to be a federal system based on parliamentary democracy. There was, it wasn't by accident that our fathers settled on them on parliamentary democracy. They wanted to make democracy as close to the people as it could be. So it simply meant that if you're a parliamentarian, you knew your people. Your people knew you. It was the aggregation of the parliamentarians that determined who became the prime minister. And it, they, they were also the ones at the regional level who determined who became the premier. So democracy was devolved. It was easier for the people to become involved. What we have today is not a democracy. Mm. What we have today is not a federation. Okay. We've just become a nation of liars who readily accept okay. every uh, lie that we are told. Uh, 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 now, have you listened? Uh, have you listened to Dele Farotimi? This is Dele Farotimi. 
Do you know that this man was saying this before the election? One year before the election, this man came out and tell you the honestly truth about Nigeria. That nobody, be, if you put evil man there, Nigeria can never be fixed. There is no sincere man that are going to fix Nigeria. You don't need a sincere person. We just need a people that are going to, you know, abide with the law and always carry it out without a favor of anybody. He knows about all these things. But now we are going to bring a second video. That is why I'm telling you, Nigerian people are not sincere. They don't even sincere to themselves. Today now, they are lamenting. They are lamenting. They are lamenting. R lamentation, just yapping and talking all sort of rubbish. Talking all sort of rubbish. Inconsequential. Things that you know that there is no how you can change it. Tinubu have warned you people, if you like, you go and tell uh, American, uh, American uh, government or American people that uh, Tinubu is that, Tinubu is this. What Tinubu will do, he will abandon America for them. Any day they have a meeting, he will send their representatives. Do you want to tell me there is no, any, there, there is no countries that Tinubu can travel to? Is it what you want to tell me? What Tinubu want to go out to do in America? There is no other lands. There is no Canada. There is no Australia for him to go. He will send the representatives. He don't need to go there. Because some of our people don't understand. You are bringing a drug dealing of Tinubu that he has, he has in America a case. He has already abandoned America for them. And there is nothing America can do to him to be coming to Nigeria because they will be waiting for him to come to America. And he's not ready to go there. Even though he's sick, there is a lot of place to take Tinubu to. Now you understand. So you people should stop all this lamentation or begin to carry all out propaganda. Now let us see what this man also said. Let us see what this man said. Let us see. Let us let us also see see what this man said the new his new video. And now you will understand. Let us see. I'm coming. That is when you will know that Nigerian people are not sincere. They are not sincere. Nigeria are not sincere. They are not. Now, we are going to listen to it. Lamentation. The, do you know what these people are doing? These people are just crying when the head is off. You know, when you are playing gambling, you know, gambling with dice. You shake your hand, shake your hand, you play, you roll the dice. And the dice become one one. If you can see one day you can never change anything. The dice is already one one. There is no need of crying when the dice is already rolled. You can't. There is no need. All this thing is just lamentation. And our people don't want to understand. OB is the one that are causing the problem that is happening to our people today because this time around today is no more RPOB. OB must to come out and accept the killings and destruction of properties of Igbo people in Lagos. OB, you are the cause because you are the one that came out, isn't it? We told you. Is it not because of you now they are, they are destroying, they are chasing our people out? Is it RPOB now? The answer is no. So we are not going to claim things that we don't know. OB, you have to come out and claim it. Because last time they were saying it's IPOB, Mazen Namde Kano. Today our hand is OB, you must go and condemn it and tell the world what is happening. Up to date, you never tweet anything. You are sitting there crying. Then you lost an election. A baby. When we are telling you that OB is a boy, you don't understand. You lost an election, you begin to cry. Cry to who? Who are you crying to? You are my brother and I'm not going to shy away from that. But I'm going to tell you the truth. We told you. Come back. Or be supposed to come back when they deny him in, in, in PDP. He's supposed to come back. Say no. He's running to Labour Party. That has no background. Our people are there shouting on social media. There is another woman again now. Is that, that woman is one trending. Our people are very stupid. Our people are very stupid. There is a one girl now that is trending. He will tell you people is from Edo. Our Biafran people, they have to help them. They have to, and our people are sharing. 
can you tell me this blogger what i don't know if i i wish i can find the video let me show you why i say that this man is not nigeria is not insane nigeria are insincere people now let us watch wait i'm going to bring it out you people are going to leave yeah the same man see i'm here he have Bobby's head it's no more rasta when i saw rasta on his head Dele faro to me on post election now you understand what i'm saying election they have eat them the man that's supposed to stand on his words and never deviate what this man is going to tell his children now after all these words and authentic information about the 1999 constitution about true federalism about no good man in nigeria can help nigeria fixing that no good man can fix nigeria after then the man also deviated now he's crying anyam, anyam. and you want to tell me that nigeria people are is sincere or basanjo where is him or basanjo told you people he is going to give all his life for Pitobi, and he's going to do everything humanly possible to to make sure because P obasanjo thought because of his stupidity uh, his, his his idiocy you know you thought that some old people they still reason because of his one time a head of state you think that he reason because he jumped from a uh, uh, good look a uh, better jonathan and join a uh, bugari and give his uh, vote to bugari he thought that the same thing will repeat again you see how people reason he thought that the same thing that happened to Bugari will come back to him. Because Obasanjo is because of the, because of Obasanjo, Jonathan, our brother, lost the election. Because of uh, Obasanjo. And Obasanjo think that the same thing that is going to be repeating itself every day. He jumped to Pitobi. I'm going to give my life. It's no more Pitobi. It's me this time around. Where is Obasanjo today? Nowhere to be found. After they deceived Pitobi. The same Peter Obi now that's supposed to be calling for revolution. Obi is keeping quiet now because Obi is the man that now people are hearing. Why can't he come out and say, come out and say, now we have to storm all the streets. We have to go and take our mandate. Is Obi saying, saying anything? The answer is no. Upper gear. Talking all sort of rubbish. Deceive our people. That is why my anger is where that is where my anger is. He deceived our people. Let us listen why Nigeria people are not sincere. Now listen. The same daily, the same daily now. Just see where he's crying to. And tomorrow, after four years, they will come again, and they will tell you there is a another another dimension. <laughs> they will say, oh. <clears throat> Let us listen to him. Presidential election result. Well, the figures <laughs> that were released in Lagos State as the presidential election result. Are you listening? Were well, already talked before they were released already doctor basis in reality okay yes labor party won okay. but oh yes there is, there is more than sufficient evidence evidence you. has become completely unreliable in terms of <laughs> declaration of results you see i will not even rely on the results that Why? we have in our situation room if Lamentation. i go by what pdp released in the public space is yes. more than sufficient yes. pdp said yes. and labor party had over 900,000 votes in Lagos State. They had a little over 100,000, and APC had the same. The truth of the matter is that Bola Ahmed Tinubu was roundly rejected in Lagos State. It wasn't just the Igbos. It wasn't about the Igbos rejecting him. Was... I'm going to be touching on this. Ahmed the Bola Tinubu was not rejected in Lagos. What happened in governorship election will let you know that everything is a game plan. Are you feeling what I'm saying? I hope you people are understanding what I'm talking about. What happened in governorship election will tell you that they know or they knew what they did in Lagos for Obi to won the election so that it will calm people down because that is something they are saying today. Obi won in uh, Lagos. Obi won in the federal capital to deceive you because they know that your brain is just a, just a second thinking. If Obi won in Lagos, why this man that coming to for president uh, governorship election? Why did not won in Lagos? Is in Labour Party? Is he not Labour Party? Is he not Labour? I see some uh, bloggers. There is one uh, music they, they they did. 
obi kererenke obi wan obi wan nem obi wan nem do you know that this guy now is a is a the guy now is a youtube uh, motivational speaker that is what the guy is, is today they are celebrating the guy now you understand obi wan nem lebo wan f52 lebo obi wan nem kerere just 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 look at what our people are doing to themselves now he be, the guy become a, 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 a social media a, a influential this is what the guy is today then i begin to ask our people are so gullible the gullibility in our people are so irritating that even though sometimes i think this but i don't know who who did this to us let us continue listening to man he say he say uh, before the election they have already coupled the results yes and what are you going to do about it the answer you are going to do nothing that is what we are talking about you see it now you are going you you do you know the capacity of tinubu in that contraption if i'm telling you tinubu may be the richest man in africa tinubu obi came he said he will not give you shish and you see a man that ready to to tear his wealth into two and give people he went there and buy an egg. He buy, he buy the whole staffs of an egg. He buy, Tinubu buy everybody. <laughs> oh. Hi. Oko wade. Ndibo. Ndibo. Una ama live. Ana achuzi ya achu na Lagos. Ana akwa sa se mwa ya ina Lagos. Na ase ono na. Ndibo. Ana ase Lagos is our place. Oko efunia. Oko wade. Let us continue was rejected across the length and breadth of Lagos State because it was a referendum on his 24 years rule on hegemony in the state. So when you now heard the INEC people announcing a result that was supposedly so close with such depressed voters number, I remember that I was an arise maybe a couple of days after that result was released and I said at the time very clearly that this result is not reflective of what happened. At my polling booth, they were counting votes up until 1.43 a.m. in the morning. Yes. My wife did not vote until around 8.30 in the evening. And so the same happened across the length and breadth of Lagos, despite the best effort of those who were bent on disrupting the elections. So when they brought out the figure, I said immediately that, one, it was not as close as they would like you to said, pretend that it you, was. You, it you, you said with your mouth, but you can't do anything. Because... Those people in power have seen you as a weak person. This uh, Rotimi, Fatu, uh, Fatu, uh, Fatu Rotimi, is a weak man. He's very, very weak. That is why everything that he's saying today is a just babash. The man's supposed to stand on his words from the day one. That is why I'm telling you people that Nigeria people are not sincere. Hara putago obi na ane ebusi zomu wan nae. Na Lagos. Obi, we want you to come and tweet and tell the world how you are putting the lives of our people in danger, Obi. Ana ma yow ubiko. Oko wan nem kebo. Abe kwa mihia kaya babamba. But I'm telling you, ni, you have to go and tell the world. After you lose your election, you run to England. All this, you number number 10. Igadi asi will come down. Obi come down. Obi, obi return back to that zoo. He was not saying anything. They told him, calm down. It's everything. I will tell you people what this Katona line said. Then you will understand that all of you people are in a mess. You don't know where your problem is. But we are here to tell you the root of your problem. Because I always say this to my people. If you don't know the root of your problem, there is no how you can ever solve it. The root of the problem in Nigeria is that we are not one people. Whenever election came up, there must be a tribalism. They must. They will begin to tell you we are not one. After election, they will tell you, let's forge ahead and continue. Don't let this election cause problem between us and us. And you know that we are not one people. Our people. Our people. Oh. Oh, oh Kowadi. Let us continue, please. It was a whitewash. However, What's in order to validate the lies that they have to tell and the tribal hatred that they are stirring up, they had to portray a close election 
so that the script that they have already written for this Saturday's election might be legitimized in all the nonsense they are doing. He so said one, the truth here. Number one, we must be clear Close election. The first duty of a state yes. is the protection of citizens. When you have a situation where citizens are being attacked and people are being singled out for attack, yes. you have the one in the jail dodo, one ballet in the jail dodo, or KBC in the jail dodo, suddenly remembering that he wants to worship Oro and is declaring Oro during the period when people should be out. Well, well I think we've uh, had a clarification on that. He said the Oro rights will go up until Friday. Yeah, let me, if you have had clarification Friday. on that, there was another one in social media today. Yes. Some bearded clown talking about another Oro again. Yeah. Yes. Another, yet this was the same person <laughs> that was caught on camera. Now you understand. So you have a situation where you can speak about the political class. See, we are not going to continue on this. You people have saw it. I hope you people saw it. You see it. That is why we are IPOB. That is why you see the consistency is our second name. Consistency. We always consist in what we believe. We don't change. That is why we are resolute and formidable. That is why Mazin Namdekano is still in DSS dungeon today. He can compromise and just carry his body out from that dungeon and begin to live large. But because of consistency, he has committed himself. Likewise, us, all of us that today we are in exile, we committed ourselves to this struggle. We don't want to deviate. We don't want to think about what we are going to gain tomorrow. But we are looking towards the future of our unborn children. That is why we're here. But some people won't understand what we're talking about. Always consist in what you believe. Consist. Now, let us also go. Let me see if I can see. Let me tell you people what they have. The kind of mess they put our people with their superstitious belief. They will tell you to go and read one Bible verse, 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 and begin to do this, that this will happen. You haven't asked yourself this question. Do you have electricity? The answer is no. Do you have hospital? The answer is no. Do you have motorable road? No. So how do you think that you can grow? How do you think? How do you think? And some of you, all of you that are there, carrying uh, all this uh, picture of a person with green eyes saying that it's your savior. May God have mercy on you. May Because you don't know what you're saying. I will tell you people, some of you that believe in that religion of Christianity, I will tell you if you can bring a, a person like you to be put his picture and be telling that it's your Messiah, I can easily agree a little bit with you that, okay, he brings person that look like him. Don't let people be, you know, don't let, don't keep on putting yourself as a, you know, that there's people above you. Stop it. You are the one that causing your own problem. Put the person that look like you, put it beside you, say that this is the, your, your Messiah. I could, I can agree with you. Put it the same name, but put somebody like you. Oh, my people. But it's okay. It's okay. Oh, God. Let us continue. There is something that this our sister said. That's one of our sisters that said something. But the same thing as the, this lady is saying this, are the same thing, that mind of divide and rule is still in her mind. She is from coastal region of Biafra. And she's there saying the Igbo people. <laughs> and as he's saying the Igbo people, he's still telling you, uh, we, when they come, uh, 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 when they come, uh, uh, when they, when it's killing time, they don't know who is you. As far as you cannot speak Yoruba, you cannot speak Aosa, that you are Igbo. But he's there denying his also identity. Oh my, oh my. Let us see the, 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 the lady. I hope all of you have saw the video. All of you people have saw the video. And we are going to see it. You will see how our people will never learn. Our people can never learn. Uh, no, 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 no. 
I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Have you people seen this video? It's our sister from Coastal Region. Let us listen to what this girl was going to say. At the same time, he said, everyone from South South and the Igbo should listen. Everyone from South South. If you ask this lady now, can you tell me what is South South? Can you find anything in Cardinal Point called South South? Can you? If you ask her, she will say, eh, but I'm South South. Can you tell me the meaning of South South? You don't know. You don't. But when you're trying to, you know, lecture our people, they don't seem to understand. They keep on making the same mistake. Instead of you to say, as far as you are, com you are coming from Old Eastern region, you are target. You are target. Forget about this South South. Forget about it. Let us listen to what this girl said. A lady. It, okay, not the south side. Say that Niger and Delta. Listen. And everybody from the Niger Delta. Just listen. look at Niger Delta. Don't say, oh, they are directly talking to the Igbo. I am not Igbo. Uh, it's not Igbo. I got attacked today at my polling unit without not even get. They didn't even get to find out if I was Igbo or not. So as long as you don't look like the Alsas or you don't speak Yoruba, of course you are Igbo. So this message is for all the Igbos and Ni Ni Niger Deltans. Do not see this hatred has grown past the limit of just ordinary verbal threat. This hatred. Uh, we are going to stop it here. We are not going to finish it. Now you understand what I'm talking about. He said the people that are from Niger Delta. This woman or this lady have forgotten that. <laughs> Igwocha is also a Niger Delta. This lady have forgotten that also according to their, their concocted and fabricated uh, division and rules of our people, the lady have also forgotten that Abia State is also under the same Niger Delta that she's talking about. Now she said, we that are from Niger Delta and the Igbo. This woman or this lady have forgotten that are Haba, called as Haba today. They are speaking Igbo. And Yoma, oh my God, a car people. But it's okay. They have already, you know, bacchanized our minds. It's not, our, it's not their fault. It's not their fault. It's the fault of their ancestors and their fathers and their representatives that don't want to tell them the truth. How would they learn? You go to school in that contraption university, you came back, you finish your school, you, you can't even have a job because they don't teach you your history. You don't know who you are. That is why they are playing us ping pong. Fulani know who they are. Yorubas know who they are. Only us, we don't know who we are. That is why you will see your brother is say Igbo people. And when you look at this girl today, probably she's, and from, maybe she's from Eka or she's from Ahaba or she's from Igbosha. And probably maybe she's speaking Igbo. Like the way I'm speaking Igbo. She will tell you Igbo people. Oh my, oh my. See the kind of thing that you're going to be seeing in the zoo. Because Nigeria is a, is evil. Now just look at. The man is driving SUV that will cost 70 million. You don't have a road. But you are driving SUV. Toyota SUV cost 70 million naira. Just look at it. I want you people to watch. Thank you. Oh. 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 You see the road. No road. No road. No road. See, see that road. There's big. You see? You see? You see? Oh. 
Oh. Do you know that this car that this man have, this is a convoy. They have almost seven or eight of them there. Do you know that this car can fix that road? <laughs> Do you know? He don't care. This man don't care. He's driving a car worth 70 million. Almost six or seven or ten of them are in the same lane. They can use this money to fix that road, but they won't. Let me show you people the superstitions of our people. Our people can never learn. And let us see the shocking P2B is Mazi Emeka David. Let us see what this man has to say. We see flying around. It's a lie. Over the Wait, the they will tell you that P2B won the election. We are going to listen to this. They will tell you that P2B won the election. All these things that these people are saying, I don't even know where they are finding this thing. And after this thing, I'm going to bring again Mazin Namdekano's voice. You will hear what Mazin Namdekano said. But as I'm speaking to you people today, some people are still there gallivanting. Some people are still there. I don't know what they have in their mind telling you that Peter will be won the election. We are seeing now. Are we not here? We are here. We are here. Let us see what the, the, he, he said. The shocking moment. OP is a president. Anaki Obru story. See the man with his afro. Oh, he man, oh, the court to afro now. She no, Obu no intellectual. You know our people with the intellectual. They they claim to be intellectual now. Oh, white glass with afro. As a relation in Kana. <laughs> our people. Copy and paste will kill you people there. Copy and paste will kill you people. As a relation in Kana with a white glass. And the Afro, Kakobali Aka is a professor. Now let us listen to Professor Anakwasi. You people should go and sit and go and use your life to do something. I have told you people, we have given you people chance to come back. Come back, we are going to accept all of you. Let us listen. Oh yeah. Yes. The president elect yes. of this country uh -huh. is His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi. This thing is the kind of thing that you will see this blogger now. They will carry it. Hey, come and hear. Share, 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 share. If your P2B, share, 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 share. We have gotten it. P2B is elected. Uh, and I have a blue story. Just men yapping. Just yapping. Just yapping. You will see them share, share, share. Bloggers. Uh, we, another one have happened. Oh, you never lose hope. Oh. Don't lose hope. Oh. If you're obedient, share, 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 share. Before you know it, in, this, in 10 minutes, in one hour, they have gotten to 2,000 shares. And those people that are telling you this, they have nothing to offer. Only to share, share. And their money is entering. They are getting their payment. 5, 5 euro, 10, 10 euro. If they can be able to get maybe 100 euro in a month, if you change it to that uh, paper money in that contraption, they have forgotten that this money is nothing because of the condition they are. Because of their condition, hunger and poverty have torn all our graduates, torn out all our thinkers, people that can be able to use their hand and manufacture something, turn them to bloggers. And we are there. People are wasting every single day. We have to learn and go back to drawing blood. Let us listen to him. Please, I won't stop it. Because as it stands now, the president-elect of this country, <laughs> is, is Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, <laughs> the one illegally declared by Anik, okay. who cannot be given power come May 29. And that's why we are calling on President Muhammad Buhari to constitute an interim government okay. to hand over power to, so that that interim government can superintend over any of the litigations to, to create a smooth sale of the presidential litigations ahead. The battle to save Nigeria yes. is a battle of no retreat, no, no surrender. surrender. Uh, nobody's on the street. What yeah. actually transpired yes. wasn't an election. What is it? What happened was a miscarriage, oh, a miscarriage. Why you of electoral justice. Okay, now I understand the English. Miscarriage. All we see 
flying around <coughs> over the conventional and social media is an affront on our democracy. Okay. Oh, you go. The APC administration yes. has succeeded in plunging this country into a political aberration. Before the international community, Nigeria is now seen as a laughing stock. You are a liar. We are seizing this opportunity. <coughs> it has been there for day one. To call on the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are the dead one. To disband. Oh, yeah, one and call for a total overhaul. Okay. Of the entire electoral body called Independent National Electoral Commission, INE, under the supervision of. Professor Mahmoud Yakub. Mm -hmm. They have performed woefully. It has Professor Mahmoud Yakub has succeeded in debasing that institution. There is no longer credibility. We are asking him to throw in the towel or face the Nigerian people. I want that. Secondly, as an addendum to that, we are also calling on the INEC chairman. Last week, when we had our World Press Conference, we gave, him 40, we gave them 48 hours to allow our lawyers access. Okay, let me go back to Onyendu, because I don't want to stay here more than one hour, 30 minutes. Let us go back to Onyendu. You see, I hope every one of you listen to this. Uh, it's our brother, but he's there. On our sumbombo Ibo. On our Soko Hi, Nigerian died in 1963. The rigging of elections started in 1963. The first time they allow Nigerian people to, I mean, to carry up, carry on, I mean, electoral system by voting in 1963. They rig it. After the queen ruled them for three years, they allow them to rule themselves. They rig the election. And the, this man now is telling us that they are seeing Nigeria now as nobody. Since 1963, that is how they have been seeing Nigeria. Not today. Not today. Nigeria has been rigging election from the day one. And that is exactly what we are saying. There is nothing like election in Nigeria. What they have is selection. If the time you understand it is going to be better for you. Stop yapping. And I'm telling you that what happens to Yoruba people in uh, June 12th, Abiola, believe you me, you think that they are going to allow it to happen. All of you in Lagos, they will buy all of you people. They will buy everybody. So, Peter will be, the power of Akin will not fail. Imran will be start. Let me let me bring you on your demands in Nigeria. See, superstitious. I See, you see what I'm saying? <coughs> this video we are share to. Uh, 2,300 shares, 233,000 viewers. I want you to listen and tell me what you are going to learn from this thing. Just, just imagine, just imagine, just imagine, just imagine. Just imagine. See, see now, a woman, a woman putting her leg, he say, a woman putting her leg inside water superstitious believe now i want you people to listen to what this woman will tell people to do and uh, as you as a reasonable person you that you don't have work in that contraption you that you don't have more terrible road just listen to what this woman will say we are not going to play it finish just pay attention to work traveling if you have if you have court case court case do it before leaving your house for God to intervene. If you have an exam, do this before leaving your house. If you are traveling, do it before leaving your house. And also, if you are going for an interview, do it before leaving your house. Okay? This can lead you to your destiny helper. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Africa. Your destiny helper is not Africa. in any way but close to you. Hi. Your destiny helper can be your passenger that you Hi. just carried in your oh. car. Your destiny helper can be your customer that buys things from you. Good leg inside water. A lot of people actually open stores, but they do not sell business. Hi. By the time you start selling, yes. they are also contributing to your goods. Just be imagine. And also, your destiny helper can be your boss. That's the person you are. To put your leg inside water. So, God can use anyone to bless you. 
this very one I am showing you right now. Yes. For protection. For protection. Breakthrough and also more opportunities. Breakthrough and more Here opportunities. Here with me, I have my water. Yes. Sea salt and also a drop of anointing oil. Right. I decided to carry you guys along oh, this evening as I am doing my own. Hi. Oh, I don't want to. I, I want to stop it here. I want to stop it here. I want to stop it here. Nah, eh. Who did this to us? Now for you to put, to have breakthrough, opportunities, more wealth, lucky coming to your way, you put your leg inside water and put salt and put olive oil. Nkanje, see me here. Oh my, oh my. Well, what can I say? It's okay. Let us listen to Onyendu Mazen Nandikano. What he say about what this guy was because when this our brother was saying, he said they have sent a message to Inek Shaman. They have told Inek Shaman what they would do. They would tell them this. They have told Budet Bugari to to stand by for a how did they put this uh, governorship uh, like a uh, Tofa. He did it by then. I think he's the one that he will stand there till they trying to find out who is going to take over the the position that uh, Tinubu did not want the election. Now I want you to hear what Mazen Namikano said. The people, final say. They are the final say. They are the final say. Let us go. The final say. After they speaks, nobody else. After they speaks, nobody else speaks. Now pay attention. These people are the final say. When they speak, nobody speaks again. Words that say delay, no is ringing. That's all of you kept quiet, you did not. And you're looking for good to play. No, yeah, let us go. Of oxygen, you will get H2O, which is water. We mean it. If you try it, you will see it. It is only INEC that decides the results of elections in Nigeria, not your previous. In Army Foundation. Ma the sooner you understand this, the better for you. Thank you, Mazen. Thank you. Thank you. The same INEC that this our brother is calling, and they have decided, and you are still calling them. Now you see, say your mumu will never do. Your mumu can never do. Your mumu can never do. They are telling you the people that have final say have spoken. You are still telling them to you to, to come again. Okay. All right, wonderful people. I thank you all for listening. Uh, I want our people in Lagos. Uh, more are coming. My corner had a new thing. All I get, my new thing by force now. And I cook on the alcohol. I go at Oshinte. Now I get to go. Oh, Gaga, sweet gamma. How they are dealing with us in northern part of Nigeria, they have come back to also Yoruba land and dealing with our people. Our people are just crying now. Bogari Kafol and Yalamajiri. Now the Igbos are uh, Lamajiri. <laughs> I said the things the way it is. I always doubt the consequences. We went to protest those people that are claiming that they are Mazen Namdekano siblings. The one that is claiming that he she is a, a kucho finance. None of them are there. Nkena Nyuni is not there. They are not there. Even though to surface for people to see them. That they are helping their brother. Makanya frugo ya kwa rugo kwa da. Makada afrugo every day. Anya frugo. Chie ya. Makega afrugo. Obo o gobo na kega afrugo. Ha biyaro. Ihe ni ina ina eme ika hafwa. Mano obo reputa na internet ya na abogare. Ha mwana anye. I don't want to talk about them here. Nkana bo master profit is no ya na. Na because of him. Eh, Mazen Namdekan is free. They are not going to tag all this in Mazen Namdekan. It's the leadership. Mazishina Samuru came out and tell our people, go and do whatever you want to do. As you people don't want to hear, go and do. Master Prophet in Anunamamene is claiming it now. Sino Abu Kwan Aboria. Idiot. All right, wonderful people. I thank you all and I salute to Mwada Ucheshidia, the wife of our leader. I still remain your royal servant, Mazo Kenno Kechuku. For me, from here, it is good afternoon.